Joanna Boyle started playing soccer when she was only four years old. Since then, she's excelled in the sport at every level. She's played for top club teams, U.S. national teams, and now she's a sophomore playing for the legendary women's soccer program here at UNC. It's unbelievable. I grew up coming to every single game, and I was watching the stands at Fetzer, and now it's pretty cool to be playing on Fetzer. Instead of playing for her high school soccer team at Sanderson, Joanna played for the 94 Castle Chelsea Ladies, who practiced right here at WRL Soccer Park. She was a leader on the team, even though she was a year younger than most of her teammates. That's nothing new for her, though. She's used to playing and standing out against older competition. That's how Coach Dorrance discovered her. She carved a couple players in a very tight sp space with uh, a really sophisticated set of moves. Uh, and um, I was impressed, and so the other coaches sitting there were also impressed. So they leaned over and said, Anson, uh, uh, what year is she in school? Coach Doran said she was in 11th grade, but he was off by three years. Joanna was only in 8th grade at the time. After that game, Coach Doran invited her for a visit to Chapel Hill and suggested that she graduate high school year early so she could get a jump start on her career at UNC. She says that decision has given her an edge on the field. I think staying another year in club, I think I would have just kind of plateaued, but coming here a year early really pushed me to be grow as a player and a person. Joanna didn't have instant success at UNC. As a freshman, she played behind Crystal Dunn, one of the greatest players in program history. Adjusting to less playing time in a new level of competition was difficult. It was a big change and it was a big jump and um, I needed that. I needed something to kind of light a fire under me. That fire helped Joanna earn a starting spot on the team this year. She's increased her offensive production too, scoring three goals on 27 shots so far this season. And there's many more to come. In Chapel Hill, I'm Amanda Lee reporting.